Hey guys, it's Chrisula back here with another Wentworth dorm tour. So last time I toured 610 Huntington Avenue, I said I wanted to do another video kind of showing some college essentials, especially for upperclassmen dorms that we completely recommend. So not only am I going to do a little tour of our um, dorm from this year, 2022, but I'm also going to highlight certain things in the suite that I think are just very good to have. So first off over here, you can see um, our ugly pantry can be completely hidden by these pantry shades. And I definitely recommend getting these because it, it really makes a big difference. You wouldn't think that it does, but it just makes the space a lot nicer. It makes it feel cleaner and it hides the ugliness of the pantry in general. Um, the kitchen table always comes with four chairs, which doesn't really make sense because the suite is meant for six people. So what we usually end up doing is bringing some of the desk chairs from the bedrooms out here when we have more people over so that everyone can sit around the table. This right here is an attempt that we recently made at bringing a new kind of light into the space without having this bright light here. Um, it's not the most visually appealing yet, but we're working on it. But who knows, maybe there's a good way that we can get another light in. Um, something that you definitely need is some sort of mop for the suite. Um, the whole place, it's, it's just very easy to spill and make messes. You'd be surprised how messy it is. And it's just very useful to have on top of also getting a broom and a vacuum. The bedrooms have carpet, which is really good for the vacuum, but it's also nice to pick up the dirt on the floors easily. Um, so if we come over to the common room space, one thing that is, I'd say probably the most important thing to make the space feel very warm and welcoming is a nice carpet. And then on top of that, you want to have lots of blankets and pillows so that everyone's always comfortable. We have other forms of seating too, which makes it really nice and, and um, there's always a place for someone to sit. And then something that so, well, a couple things we have in, to make the space better is its own lamp as well so that we can turn off these lights when it's darker at night and then we have a more cool light um, so it's not like bright and in the face. Completely recommend getting a projector, especially if you have a nice blank wall that you can set it up towards. You can hook it up to, you know, like laptops, iPads, anything. You can watch shows, you can play video games, you can do anything and it's a huge screen on this wall it's better than a little TV um, lastly oh actually also we have a couple of five dollar target little tables which are really nice because you can move them around very easily if you want a place to put down like your cups and your snacks and stuff and you don't want to have to reach over to one of the bigger tables to get them and then lastly of course lots of plants to make the space look nice but we also added an extra curtain um, on top of the one that Wentworth gives you because that one's kind of see-through, so it still lets a lot of light in. And we're also on the first floor, so it's just nice to have that extra privacy, especially at night. But even when we go up a couple floors next year, we're gonna continue to have it just because it's, it's nice for filtering light. All right, now we're gonna head to the kitchen area. And one thing we realized from our first day at 610, our sophomore year, is that there's not a lot of counter space. And so to deal with that, we ended up getting this little thing. We call it our kitchen island. And this is where we have our microwave and our toaster oven so that they don't take up the space on our counters. We also keep some pots and pans inside and, and other stuff like that. And then now we have more counter space. So a couple things we definitely recommend. Of course, a Brita, unless you want to like carry a case of water every week. Um, this is a, a kettle that makes hot water very quickly, which is just very convenient if you like having teas and like hot chocolate and stuff a lot. Um, this is a little spoon rest. It's a ravioli, but it's more helpful than you think it would be, especially if you cook a lot to have a spoon rest. And then my favorite is this nice knife block, different sizes knives. Um, kitchen scissors, it comes with a sharpener, it wasn't that expensive, got it from Target. And it's just nice to have a variety of knives for different things that you were cooking for, different things you're cutting out. 
Then we come over to the sink area. And like I said in my last video, it's nice, it has a disposal. We have one of these, um, you can definitely get these for like five bucks at Marshalls. It suctions to the wall of the sink. And we love having these types of sponges. We find them the most um, useful, I guess. And then we added this Fawcett tap, 10 bucks from Amazon which has been super helpful because you can see the faucet only covers this much, which makes it very difficult, especially when you have like more than two dishes in there. There's no room to work with. Um, also get a nice cheap little paper towel holder, just something to hold them so they don't get wet. And then back here we have a little stand that holds all of our dish soap and regular soap and our sponges and stuff like that, which is just really helpful, especially because they're always wet. So instead of dripping all over the counter, it stays in there. Um, the suite doesn't come with a dish rack either. So you have to get that separately. And another thing we recommend getting on top of that is this mat to kind of soak up the water that drips off of the dishes after you wash them. Um, oh, lastly, for this area, we recommend getting plastic cuffs got the 16 pack on amazon because for our first year last year or our sophomore year last year we broke a lot of glass cups you'd be surprised how easy it is for those things to just slip and fall for like even when you're washing them in the sink glass cups break all the time so at least for your years in college i definitely recommend getting plastic ones also we have this nice carpet which just makes cooking a lot more comfortable and it makes the space look better. In our refrigerator and freezer, we have these bins that help us separate whose food is whose and just keep the space more organized and less chaotic because you can see it could definitely get chaotic. And I recommend for ice getting these kind of silicone ice molds with like big cubes. Um, in my opinion, they're just the best type. So that's just my recommendation. All right, now we're gonna head down the hallway. And again, anything that you can add to kind of fill the walls makes the space just look better and more like comfortable. Um, in our bathrooms, we set up LED lights around the ceiling so that it just makes the vibe really nice. We don't have to turn on the obnoxious light um, and like it's really cool for showers and, and just better than the regular light. So I definitely recommend getting like a shorter LED strip for that. Then we're in my bedroom and this is what a typical 610 bedroom looks like. I don't have a roommate so I push my beds together. And a couple things I want to point out while we're here is I also have a curtain rod with a blackout shade. Um, curtain here because the sun comes in pretty um, dramatically in the morning even through the shade that's already there so I recommend getting another curtain for this space and then as always I'm sure you see on a lot of other videos a folding drying rack very easy I usually throw it under my bed but it's just you're, you're gonna need it for college and lastly, since we're at a tech school, I just want to highlight some things for your personal desk space that I think are very helpful for classes. So first off, if you have a separate monitor, it's really helpful to have a laptop stand, especially one that can adjust this one can go up and down an angle. Um, and if you have that, you should probably get a separate keyboard as well. Um, all of my friends have this same monitor mount. It's called the Mount Up. It's 30 bucks on Amazon and this thing can basically move in any direction that you need it to go. It can angle, it can go up, down, push out, anything like that. I think it really is just the best monitor stand. So if you need one, I recommend getting that one. And then lastly, I have this little USB plug-in phone charger that I think is really helpful for while you're working at your desk, especially if you're like on FaceTime with someone or you want to have a, a good angle like to your phone while you're working you want to have it still standing up but like it needs to charge it's just very nice to have one of those so that wraps up this video let me know if you guys have any questions if you have any other recommendations oh also 
I have a couple extra small things I wrote down. Band-aids and a first aid kit. You'll find yourself needing them more often than you think. Um, Clorox wipes and spray, especially for the kitchen area and the common areas. Those calendars get messy real quick. Um, we end up using a lot of tape and scissors, so it might be better to bring extra for those. And then it's always good to have AA and AAA batteries when you come in. You'll be surprised how often you need batteries. And then lastly, um, something I also noticed is to bring extra hangers for your closets. Um, you'll probably end up going out in the city and buying more clothes than you think you will, and you'll need the extra hangers for that. So if you guys have anything else you want to add, if you have any questions, if you want to make me any other videos, um, just let me know in the comments, and I hope you guys enjoy this video.